And in our top business story, Abu Dhabi International Airport has reported a 9.5% increase in passenger traffic in the first quarter of 2016 compared to the same period last year. According to a press statement from Abu Dhabi airports, between January and March this year, 6,044,025 passengers travelled through the airport compared to 5.52 million passengers during the same period last year. Aircraft movements rose to over 42,000, representing 1.5% growth on just over 41,500 movements recorded in Q1 2015. It was further added that the top five destinations for Q1 included Bangkok, London Heathrow, Jeddah, Doha and Delhi. India continued to be at the top in terms of country routes, with the highest passenger traffic figures of just above 1.08 million registering a 26.9% increase. The chief operations officer at Abu Dhabi airports was quoted in a statement as saying that the capital is an important global transportation hub, which is reflected by the fact that more than 6 million passengers travelled through the airport during the first quarter of the year. Nakhil has announced a net profit of 1.47 billion dirhams, 8% rise from Q1 2015. The company handed over 536 completed units to customers during the first three months of the year, with its retail, residential leasing and hospitality businesses all contributing to the first quarter results. During Q1, Nakhil officially opened Dragon Mart 2, almost doubling the size of the Dragon Mart Mall complex to 2.2 million square feet of leasable space. The three months also saw the opening of Nakhil's first hotel attached to Dragon Mart 2, managed by Acor. Footfall at Dragon Mart now reaches 120,000 visitors a day at peak times, with the hotel achieving average 60% occupancy during its first two months of operation. It was added that Nakhil is on target to officially open a 300,000 square feet extension to its flagship Ibn Battuta Mall in Q2 2016, and a number of projects in the retail, hospitality and residential leasing sectors are under construction by Nakhil at Palm Jumeirah. Dera Islands, Jumeirah Village, Warsan Village and other areas across Dubai. Middle Eastern mergers and acquisitions reached $4.7 billion in the first quarter of the year with overseas acquisitions from the UAE accounting for 39% of Middle Eastern outbound activity, while Bahrain and Saudi Arabia accounted for 29 and 23% respectively. The figures represent a decline of 67% compared to the first quarter of 2015, as announced by Thomson Reuters' quarterly investment banking analysis for the Middle East. The figures show that Middle Eastern investment banking fees reached $178.2 million during the first quarter of 2016, a 17% decline compared to Q1 2015. Officials stated that Middle Eastern equity and equity-related issuance totaled $228 million during the first quarter, a 92% decline from Q1 2015, while Middle Eastern debt issuance reached $5.5 billion for the period, a 22% decrease. As for M&A deals, outbound M&A activity fell 85% from the first quarter of 2015 to reach $1.3 billion. Domestic and inter-Middle Eastern M&A decreased 36% year-on-year to $1.8 billion, while inbound M&A fell 52% to $558.8 million, a two-year low. Industrials was the most active sector, accounting for 31% of the Middle Eastern involvement M&A. The largest deal with Middle Eastern involvement during the quarter was the $1.1 billion acquisition of Denmark-based Ecopel AS by GAF Corp from Bahrain-based InvestCorp Limited. The Middle East has cemented its place as one of the top outward remittance hubs in the world with more than $120 billion in outward remittances for 2015. The figures come from research conducted by Express Money that also indicated that remittances within the Middle East are rising rapidly as well, particularly with Arab nationals transferring money from GCC countries to other Arab countries. The findings show that not only are Arabs sending money more frequently, but the amounts tend to also be larger. 71% of those surveyed send money back home, with 38% sending money home 
at least once a month and another 32% sending money at least every two to three months of between around 700 to 1,000 US dollars. Some of the destinations receiving remittances included a rise in South Southeast Asia, while Egypt continues to be in the top 10 list of remittances receiving countries.